Hi Leatherbacks, uh, recently we've been doing a lot of what we'd like to call power snorkeling, so it's, you know, snorkeling on the side, looking at reefs and diving down maybe 15, 20 feet. Um, we've been doing a lot of that off the boat recently, but uh, really got us started with that on a paddleboard and wanted to talk you through how how to best set up your paddleboard to go out and then snorkel, essentially, what's easiest. Um, you can see here I've got my N2 uh, PVC board. Uh, I think they call it a ABS, but uh, I like these boards. They're not great for long range or real performance, but they're just adorable. You can drop them, they won't ding very easily. You can uh, drill into them and put anchors in them and they're just all around adorable. Is we've got these elastic tie downs here. Most paddle boards come with these and it's a great way to stow your gear. Um, so if you can get like a dry bag or just a, a bag and you can slide them under these and hold them down. Um, these are anchors here. You can see that these elastic tie downs are running through. And you can uh, modify your board in order to expand these us the usefulness of this. So I'm going to show you some of the ways to do that. So the first thing you can do is get a, a bag for your gear, um, one that you can wear on your back or sling over your shoulder. Something much like this. I've got my fins, my mask, my snorkels in there, it's just in one spot. It's got a drainage hole in the bottom for water. It just slings over me like this, and I have it on my back while I paddle. So the second thing you can add is a milk crate, like this. And you can use those anchor points um, to secure it to the board. Um, this milk crate, I believe, I found or was hand me down, but you can get them from Home Depot, Target to sell some pretty good milk crates. Um, you get ones with these holes in the side here, it's easier to string their bungees through. A lot of times, these bungees won't fit into these anchor points. So, what I've done is take power, uh, paracord, made a loop with it, and ran it through the anchor. And I'll show you how to do that now for to make a loop of the powder power cord now this is a, a standard piece of I think quarter inch rope um, just be easier to see but same idea is to take your loop your end it's your tag end right here line it up so you have a little loop and you're gonna wrap it once around your fingers and just tuck it through and that should give you a pretty secure knot you can do it twice if you want Essentially, that gives you a good loop. We're gonna we're gonna insert it into this anchor point right here. Use a screwdriver to help. So essentially, it slides under the anchor. Use a screwdriver to kind of push it through. Pry it up. That. Well, it's not going anywhere. Lastly, we're gonna take this board, this crate, run the bungee cords through it and just hook them onto our power cord, paracord. And you can see how that gives us a nice secure base for our milk crate. Now the way I ran these paracord through the front of the milk crate allows me to stick a, a rod holder on our PVC pipe to top up and that allows me to put a fishing rod or a flag on the board for more visibility out there but still gives us access to our tie downs. Another thing I like to do with this and this is optional is to take a five gallon bucket like you would find at Home Depot or um, Walmart, you get it for three bucks or so, and secure this to with another bungee to the milk. So it gives us a nice uh, extra storage. Um, I typically use this for trash. I'm gonna go pick up trash or use it for bait. So if I got live bait, water, bait, and um, you know, a bubbler can run in there, keep the bait alive. 
last thing I've done is I've added some custom anchors in the back so I can add a cooler or a nice bucket, um, Yeti bucket in the back for cold storage or um, fish or whatever I want. I don't use this all the time, primarily when I'm on long trips or if I'm just going out for a fun paddle, I might just do this piece. Um, I'll have to make a separate video how to, how to best insert those, how to create those. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know. I'll find somebody's board I can sacrifice. But essentially, it's just a, just a strap anchor with two screws. I pre-drilled some holes into the PVC, used some epoxy to keep it from leaking in there, and to give it a little bit more secure, make it a little more secure. But I'll show you how that's secured now. So here, we got the bucket. Lines up with our anchors. Got some custom straps. We will push through the anchors, up onto the board, push them through anchor points. Secure it. See, it's pretty stable. The tighter we make these straps, the more secure it is. Um, you can use it as a seat while you're paddling. And if you're really confident with your balance and set this upright, you can stand on it for better visibility. So here is my all together setup. See, we got our Yeti bucket strapped down to the back of the board for cooler. We can also get a small cooler and use do the same thing. And then you can also put some rod holders in those slots if you want. We have our milk crate, secured by bungees to paracord through the strap anchors, tie down anchors. Our rod holder and PVC pipe for a dive flag for more visibility while we're out off the board. And we have a bucket for trash or bait, whatever we're doing. Now typically, I don't have this full setup. It's a little much, especially for just snorkeling. But if I'm taking a long fishing trip, a long paddle, I may use I might use parts of this or all the whole part of this. A lot of times I just crop with a milk crate. Um, if I'm doing a fun paddle, I might just use the bucket in the back. Or if I'm going out fishing, I'll probably use the bucket and the milk crate. But if I'm going to use live bait, I might grab that orange bucket and strap it to the front. I hope the setup helps give you some ideas about what you can do, how you can uh, set up your board for uh, paddles, for snorkeling or fishing. Uh, we'll be adding some more things, some more how-tos in the future. Thanks. If you like this video, give us a like below and share us with your friends. And be sure to join the adventure at leatherbackadventures.com and join our Facebook group.